Hi, everyone. Um, I just want to take a minute to make a quick introdu introduction to my video tutorial. I'm going to be uh, presenting some free principal birthday templates that I made just for you. I did spend quite a bit of time working on these templates because I didn't want to just give you some like cheesy clip art, whatever, um, with a few colors dashed around. I actually made you something you're going to be proud of to use, I hope. <laughs> so here, I, I just want to take a minute to uh, go over my blog so you know how to get started. Sorry about all my stumbling and mumbling and so forth. It's uh, actually the witching hour right now. I'm making some dinner and the kids are in there waiting patiently and I've got some pasta boiling and you know how it is when you're busy, hectic, right? Here's my uh, blog that you're, if you click the link from Pinterest or from my um, email that I, uh, that I sent you recently, this is what you're going to see. Except the video that I'm making right now is going to go right there. Isn't that funny? Here's the first option. I want to give you two options. Ones that you could use that are kind of girly and one that's going to be like gender neutral or even boyish. Um, my kids actually are obsessed with robots. Right, boys? We see robots? Robots. Robots. We like them. I see robots. Yeah, so I made this a really cool robot. Yeah? <laughs> it's stupid robot. It's super robot. Like a superhero. Um, and then here's the other one. I think you're going to really love this one. I actually spent the most time on this for you. Um, it, it, the burlap, rustic, and um, country floral look is really in, really hot right now. So. You've got a good one, don't here. Um, oh, <laughs> don't knock me. I just got knocked by my pen here. My hand is like wiggling around for that okay. reason. Okay, I spoiled it. Yeah. Okay, well, before my um, pasta Wait. gets overcooked, all you I need to do to get started is you're going to have to right click on the that's image that you good. want to start with, and you're just going to click Save Image As. You know, save it to your computer, and then later we're going to down or upload it to the next site. And that site oh. is, oh, stop up on my hand, buddy. <laughs> You're going to go to this site here, canva.com. Some of you might be quite familiar with this one, and others maybe not. Um, but this is a really, really great software, and it's absolutely, totally free, which is the best do you agree? Uh, we like free. And so you're just going to start here and you're going to start creating your design. Okay, let's get started here. I'm going to just uh, go over to use custom dimensions, which is on the top right. I like to make mine in inches, don't forget the right measurement there. And 7x5 is pretty, pretty typical. If you want to do landscape, it would be 7x5, otherwise 5x7 if it's upright. Um, earlier I had you upload the template, so you would use that green button there, upload it to Canva, and then take the edge of your template right here and carefully make sure that it all lines up on the canvas there. The canvas on Canva, right? Then go over to the text option. And here you have a lot of options to try out different styles of text and headings and sizes already pre-made. These are all free to use for personal use. So I'm just looking around at different ideas. Playing around with it until I have just the right one. I like this, uh, this one has two different types of text. I like the one 
the second one there. So I'm gonna just delete the top one. <clears throat> and you can note here on the top left, you have the option just to choose whatever font you're looking for. So here we go, you're invited. And we're gonna type in the name of the person who we are celebrating. I'm just making up a random name and try this one here. Wait. I know this is not for a baby shower, but I like this cute handwriting style. I'm going to use this to describe the details a little bit more. You can use the edges to expand and make it just the right size that you're looking for. I'm going to erase this bottom part too. Don't need that. Now I'm going to make up a weird address. I don't know what Jacob B's is, but you know, it'll work. Um, let's see here. Let's try different text sizes. Try to get it to line up nicely. It's all about trial and error to see what you like the best. You might not know right away what you want to do until you start doing it. So let's try different colors on the overlay. What's going to work, what's not going to work. I used on the top right the copy function so that way I can use the same exact text style. Just erase it and add the rest of the details there. It's pretty straightforward. I like that it's dra uh, drag and drop. I wanted to put a real date here. <laughs> okay. I'm speeding up the video a little bit so that way you don't have to see me uh, drag on here trying to decide where to put things and which things and which textile. So I'll let you. You should go in there and play around with it and get familiar with it. it it'll take a little bit of practice until you feel comfortable, but it, then it, it's pretty simple, straightforward, like I said. You can uh, change the different colors by going adding, you see the plus sign there? And then you can actually really customize the exact color that you're looking for. I was trying out the arrow, didn't really work out. So what I really wanted was to be more similar to the stitching, right? So I have I found a dashed um, line in the elements over there on the far left. You can resize it. So it's a little tricky because you gotta like catch that middle one. And as it gets smaller, it's harder to catch it. You can also rotate it, as you saw me do there. Resizing it again, make it a little bit smaller. Need to add a, a few more details to make this work the way we want it to, right? Isn't this a cute template? I hope you like it. <clears throat> I know the burlap and the uh, country rustic style is really, really popular right now. So I wanted to give you something you really enjoy using. And you can use it for many different occasions. It doesn't have to be for a kid's, you know, a school age kid's birthday party. It could be, you know, a grandmother or, you know, 
anyone really in the family this would work for. It's pretty versatile, right? So, <clears throat> there, I finally got the uh, dashed line that was, it was probably around with a lot. <laughs> so, now we are adding the RSVP to the bottom so that way your friends know who to contact. You can put your email, your phone number, whatnot. And there we go. Pretty easy. You could see there on the top where everything is. And text style, the text font sizes, um, the color. And again, I showed you earlier how you can create a custom color if it's not if the ones that they display aren't quite right and um, I, I also uh, played with the spacing there you see this you can actually make it spread out a little bit up down or horizontal so that way it just has the right feel in the space that you're working in. Okay. So, starting to look like a winner. Just the final touches. And <clears throat> I also wanted to mention that you know, if you're ever looking for more um, artwork to add into the invitations, there's a lot of free ones available here in Canva that you can use for personal use only, right? If you're uh, trying to make something, you know, that you want to sell on a website or whatnot, you can always go to my favorite free graphics and photo website, which is called Pixabay, which is spelled P-I-X-A-B-A-Y. So that's just kind of a little inside. If you need stock photos, you can use them absolutely free. Sometimes you can get vector art or clip art that's pretty decent. And you don't have to attribute it, and you don't have to pay for it or worry about it later on as far as copyright. So, okay. I think this is a winner. Got the colors that I was looking for and looking pretty good. So now you have the option to download it. You can even share it directly to your friends via email. So here, I'm just gonna download it. You have some options there how to download it. Um, PNG works just fine. So, you can download it and uh, send it to your phone, text it to your friends, email it to your friends. And there you go. Oh, yeah, and you can just use that the, the app to send it to your phone, make it a lot easier. Okay. I'm just taking a look here at the different things. We didn't really get into layouts and stuff. Um, didn't feel like it was necessary here in this tutorial. Um, I knew that I wanted to get a landscape invitation. So anyway, I'm gonna copy that one exactly as it is, okay? Because I'm just gonna switch up my upload. So I, this is the second template that I uh, created for you. Totally original. You're not going to find it anywhere else. So your friends are definitely going to be impressed. This will work for a boy or a girl, I think. As I said earlier, my kids love the robot. I, uh, even my big girl. So I'm just uh, bringing forward all the text from the previous template that we uh, created here on Canva. I'm going to adjust the new template on top of it. So again, if you didn't catch that, there on the top right, 
it says arrange and you can um, bring forward or backwards whatever elements that you're looking for and there you go just change it up move it around drag and drop pretty simple change the colors to match the the theme of this uh, particular template it's a lot easier once you've got a, a template as far as the wording how you want it what do you want to say on the invitation so I probably could have saved myself some time if I took a note earlier on a notepad and kind of come up with a plan as far as what I'm gonna how I'm gonna fill it out so that's another little tip for you looks pretty good right very good so I'm just again going through playing with different thoughts and I was looking for something that was robotish and that didn't work it, yeah. so um, that didn't work either certain things just don't work when you with, for certain themes so here we go just uh, keep playing around with it until it's right for you not everybody's the same oh, I was missing a spot there I meant to grab the white and then catching the wrong spot okay so there's the white I thought it might look good but it didn't really work so try something else back to the black the black works the gray doesn't see maybe if I wanted it to be a standout color like red that would have worked and again, if you just uh, take the sides, you can change the layout that way as well. So the further you spread it out horizontally, the more words you can get in. And the more you uh, squash it, the, the, then the words kind of have to go down. So <clears throat> anyway, I decided this was fine. And here's where you could actually sh share it directly via email or social media pretty pretty cool right you could even embed it <laughs> I didn't really click on that but um, yeah I didn't want everyone editing that so if I were to share it I would put can view so to recap here are three um, websites I'd recommend for you to take a look at canvas.com for your free online editing, Pixabay for free stock images, and of course babypitch.co because it's just awesomeness. And here's my little plug. Follow, like, share. I'm on all social media networks pretty much. You know what? You're pretty awesome. And since you stuck around with me all the way to the end, I'm giving you this special promo code. Just type in April Fun at the checkout. This is Annie signing off. See ya.